it's Manda, and I'm coming to you with, I was going to say 30 inks, 30 days. No, I'm coming to you with a new pen unboxing. New pen day, you know from the title, it's the new Twisby Lilac. If any of you are surprised that I have gotten another Twisby Eco, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Twisby Eco is one of my favorite pens. I have like one in a ton of colors. I won't say every color, but I have one in a lot of colors. I'm actually missing black and clear and like that sunset orange one. Otherwise I have, I think, all of the ones that you could have gotten any time within the last few years. Um, and in some cases I have multiple. Um, but yeah, I just love the Twisby Eco. It's one of my favorite pens. It's affordable. They write really good. You can keep ink in it forever and it just lasts. It's, they're great. I love them. I know they're not for everybody, but they're definitely for me. So anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this package. Uh, I'm going to fill it and we're going to do a writing sample even though it's just another Twisby Eco. Actually, that was going to be the alternate title of this. I was going to title this video. Yes, I bought another effing Twisby Eco. <laughs> or even just another effing Twisby because, you know, Twisby is my jam. But um, yeah, as usual, the Eco comes in this uh, paper sleeve. This plastic box just pops right out. Obviously, you have the Eco. The Eco T has a like an aqua paper. And this is the label. I got the medium nib just because I have a feeling this is going to be one I'm going to want to use a lot. And I like to peel the sticker off and just put it on the box. And then there's also a clear label here. Um, I know there are certain people in the community that do not like to see the pen when I unbox it. So we're going to be, we're going to put it over here. Ooh box click action. Hopefully that's not too loud. Look at that pen. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, Ms. Turtle, you can leave now because I'm going to show off the pen. <laughs> so here it is, the Twisby Eco. Oops, the Twisby Eco. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Lilac. As usual with Twisby Ecos, you get the little documentation, kind of shows you how to fill it and what to do and what not to do. Um, also, there's um, instructions on how to use the rent. I don't recall that being here, but maybe I just never paid attention. You get your little bottle of silicon grease. You get your little uh, plastic wrench. Um, if this is a 580, you get a metal wrench. Um, very handy. And um, yeah, I have like loads of these, but they're handy to have around. So, ta-da. Eco. Yay. Not not anything different. Standard, standard eco fare. Um, oh, and this. But here is the purple pen. This is lilac, and I have to say, this is probably maybe not my favorite shade of purple. I know you're like, but Manda is purple. I'm apparently picky about purples, um, but you know, I had to have it because if I decided to wait to get it, it will be gone, and then I'll be like, dang it, I want that to be eco, and then I'll have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So we are gonna fill it. Today we're going to fill it with um, Ferris Wheel Press is definitely peachy because I think it'll be a nice contrast. I know I like to matchy matchy. I was going to use Sailor Delaware, but I can't get this ink out of my head, so I'm just going to do it. Um, but before we do that, before we fill it, I will do a writing sample. It's just Twisby Medium, but we will do a writing sample. Um, I wanted to show it next to some other Twisby colors. So this is my favorite Twisby Eco, the transparent purple. Um, here it is next to the pastel pink. Here it is next to the pink. And actually, fun fact, oh, I should have grabbed my turquoise eco. I actually don't know where that is. Um, I had this ink, this pen filled with um, Noodler's, Chai I think it's Tchaikovsky, which is this shade of purple. I had it in this pen. And then I had Noodler's Rachmaninoff in my turquoise pen. Crap. Where's my turquoise eco? Unfortunately, I don't have time to find it. So anyway but I bet these look good together. Um, and here it is next to the Eco T Coral, in case that's a combination that you care about and wanna see. And then here it is next to the Eco T, is it mint blue or something like that? Um, that's, well, that's cute. Like that, like that. Oh, that's cute, I like that combination. Um, here it is next to the uh, Twisby uh, Vac 700 Iris. 
Obviously, this will vary depending on which pen you get, but actually mine is pretty mine is pretty matchy matchy. Um, and also, I have I have just the standard white eco sitting right next to it in case uh, that is something you wanted to see. So there you go. Um, again, it's a standard Twisby eco, nothing special other than the color. Um, yeah, so here. The red of the finial clashes with this color so hard it, it kind of makes me sick. I don't like it, but there you go. Yeah, my only gripe with this pen is that it's called Lilac, and I think it should be called Orchid. And you know how I am about names and colors if you have watched any of my previous ink videos. Um, yeah, here's the standard steel uh, Twisby Eco nib. Um, nib and feed, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This, this one seems to have a pretty harsh seam. I don't recall my Ecos having, having a seam, but this, this pen in particular has a really hard seam. So I'll be interested to see how other people's uh, come out. Is that a seam or is that a crack? No, it's a seam. I'm pretty sure that's a seam. Um, we'll find out, I guess. We're gonna ink this sucker up. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't think any of my. Oh, this one kind of has a seam. This one has a seam. This one's just really pronounced. But whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Okay, let's ink our pen. Yeah, yeah, flush the pen. I'm not going to. Haha. -ha. Here is our Ferris wheel press. Definitely peachy. I think I might have sent a sample of this to somebody, but pretty much I have uh, been wanting to get this in a pen. And then when I saw that this came out, I got this. In I was going to do this or buttered popcorn, and I just really can't get this ink out of my head. I saw it in one of the swatches from um, a video that may not have gone up yet. Or did I do it in the Birmingham? I can't remember. But, um... Also, sorry if my voice is weird. Work's been crazy and I've had to talk a lot for training. So anyway, so we're gonna fill this up. I'm not gonna worry about getting a super full fill. I just wanna play with the pen. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it already. This is exactly the look I was going for. I'll put this away later. Um, okay. Um, I need to wipe this off. Here is the cloth. Maybe this is this place is a disaster. I will just have you know. Um, okay. I actually haven't sat at this table in like a week. I've been working from work because I've just had to. And um, yeah, so we'll zoom in. We'll do a little writing sample. I will tilt the camera so it's not weird for you. It's just a Twizzy Eco, so it's not really, but this is a, oh, this is, let's, let's cap the pen. Let's cap the pen and enjoy this. This is exactly what I was envisioning. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is the Twisby Eco Lilac with a medium nib. The ink is Ferris Wheel Press. Definite, definite, the, all of a sudden I forgot how to spell definitely. I'm also excited to see how this looks because this ink is so light that I just can't wait to see what it looks like on paper. And I like how it looks next to this. I really, I have put Morning Mist and Morning Side Mint in a pen and I'm freaking in love with it. Yeah, I almost didn't film this video, but I know lots of people are wondering what the color looks like. So, yeah. So anyway, it's a Twisby Medium Nib. Not really anything to write home about. That color looks weird on camera, but... Yeah, awesome. So, there you go, let's zoom back out and take a look at our pen. Again, this this bothers me. Even though it's basically the same color as what's in the pen. I mean, not really though, but kind of it is. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. So, cat hair already. So yay, I can't wait to use this pen now that I have it inked and it's pretty and I can't wait to write with it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful or useful or um, something. There you go. Let's do some contrast. Here, do that. How about that? 
so there's some contrast in these pins and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will um talk to you soon um i'm hoping to be able to record a currently inked one of these days work has been nuts and i have not had a chance to so um yeah you'll be seeing this one again and maybe some of these others <laughs> all right take care thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helps you make a decision if you're curious about the color hopefully it helped um, I feel like the camera makes it look a little lighter than it is, but we'll see. I always think that the like, color always looks weird when I'm recording the video and then when I edit it, it's just fine. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I hope that this helped you make a decision about the color if you were on the fence about it, either one way or another. I think if I weren't collecting Twisby Ecos at this point, I probably maybe would have passed on this. It's like I said, it's not my favorite shade of purple. This is my favorite shade of purple. So, um, yeah. But I think it looks nice with the pens that I do have. And I think that that's awesome. So, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.